Does it make sense to bind runes with other types of symbols used in magic, such as, for example, glyphs and sigils? Yes, colleague, you can do this, but only on the condition that you already were included within a few traditions and established connections and rights there. Runes dislike it when you bring instruments to them that you don't have the rights to. The Norse tradition, for example, is based on the principle of honor. And if you bring them the seal of Solomon, for example, and say, just look at this thing, let's write a rune on top of it. Well, that would be a total nightmare, unless, of course, you are initiated into the Kabbalistic tradition. Because runes could get charged with theft, and that would very much violate their rights. The same goes for glyphs, sigils, and other symbols used in magic. That is, you have to be initiated and included in the traditions that you use. Then in this case, all the instruments that are relevant to both traditions will come together in your mind. You will use them rightfully. And then there will be no guilt, or punishment, or insult to anyone. So the conclusion here is simple. If you are a master included and really initiated in a few traditions, you can combine their instruments, forming some kind of an additional tradition, or for example, an additional aspect of your skill. But if you bring symbols from an extraneous tradition into your own, beware, you may have problems, your own tradition will punish you.